he has given deagles to forest and get right. See, so forest can connect there in the middle. Nope, king still 62 health. Takes out face. Tyler just peek in middle, a little over aggressive there. King's pace. Yeah, the they're price. probably feeling confident right now, though. I mean, you don't want to you don't want to give SK any free rounds, but at the same time, they're probably feeling pretty. Yeah, pretty and hot. It, it is a, a little demoralizing when you're in a save round and you want to try to go for some picks, and the other team just kind of rushes down because it kind of makes you feel like you don't have any control. Yeah, it makes you feel like even like what you're doing is working even less than you thought it was, just because you don't even have a chance yeah. to like walk around somewhere. And now this is a huge round. The score is six to thirteen. It is still winnable for SK. They could, I feel like they could easily still get nine rounds and at least force OT, but they do have to win here, and they need some clean rounds to build up build up money in the bank for them and start breaking Tyler's money and force them to save. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Ty Lu's really prepared this tournament, though. I mean, their strats seem on point. They seem to understand how to abuse SKCT. Um, on CT side, um, they haven't really been doing anything that fancy, but they've been, you know, hitting their shots, well, having good performances. I do have to point out that I was watching their match against Isahara, and they looked really sloppy in that one. So. Yeah, they definitely upped their game then. Yes. Yeah. Now SK uh, just taking over maybe, there. Maybe uh, Robin maybe the Forrest. fact that they could uh, anti-strat uh, this team with an Isahara because they were a pug help them a bit. Maybe like there's a lot of demos for SK. There's probably none for Isahara's lineup. Face working up holes right now. Get right Forest kind of working mid. And SK will be. Hitting up lane, face gets a kill on Savage, just walking out of halls. He's full blind, Forrest gets a kill. Face goes down. And XF is on a quick lane flank here. He's gonna kill Get, right? Forrest find a bomb in the site. Dalpen can't die here. He's gotta live. But he only has six health. Mo just got full blinded there. Forrest is gonna peek. And oh, he misses Forrest the shot. That kill. And the Alpen seeks health in a one oh, versus two. So blind. Full blind, and that's going to be around yeah. for Tyloo. Now this is looking really bad. This almost looks like they can't come back from this. I mean, I won't say that it's impossible because they basically got like 12 rounds in a row versus Navi, <laughs> with only losing you know one or two. So they definitely have the potential and the capability of doing so, but they gotta they can't lose those rounds at least. Yep, and it probably is starting to be the case where they are a little, they're a little, they're getting a little checked out mentally out of this match where they're thinking, all right, guys, we can still do it, but oh, nukes coming up. You know, like you still want to play, and you're still thinking just one run at a time because you you know, like they know they can still come back and win, and even forcing OT, they still can even lose a round, but they do have to start winning rounds now. Yeah, I mean, they shouldn't have lost that last round. They, they needed that last round. Uh, I think if they won that last round, they definitely would have still been in the match, but... I don't know. It probably seems weird for some people spectating because... You know, a uh, quick kill there on Savage. Because when you get a... Uh, when you're down 14 to like, you know, 6, you probably think that you're fucked, but... You know, with a team like SK, you can always grind out rounds with the amount of skill that they have. Yeah, and realistically, just 10 rounds... That probably means five, six gun rounds. That means six gun rounds, and if you lose, if you lose one at the same at the right time, that might only mean four gun rounds and one week by an ecos to go into overtime. And SK yeah. is going to middle right now. TB is going to get taken out by Robin. There's still a guy in the big pit. XF getting two face trading on uh, Mo in the halls. Both the, the both the both the Tyloo players are at a. Ready for a fast flank, face 21 HP in the pit, get right still alive though, so... Delpin gets down a little, he's down to 60 health, gets a kill on XF, and it's all down to Kings here. He's probably gonna try to save, but can face takes him out. And we'll see if is gonna be able to mount a comeback here now, when they finally get on the board in the second half. I mean, I could easily see them getting up to 5-5 before uh, Tyloo can manage another round. Do you think... Uh, how many rounds do you think SK needs to win in a row before they lose the la another round for them to win out? Or I mean to force an OT? Because you got to assume they're going to lose at least one round in the next, you know, well, couple I rounds. I mean, 
I don't, I don't think it really matters what point they lose, but for Tyloo's money, it would be the best if they could win like four more rounds in a row before losing. Maybe even more, maybe five. Because the faster they lose, the easier it's going to be on Tyloo's money later on in the half. Yeah. And Mo just got spammed, I think there, don't have any health. They know, oh, the it, face they know face. SK is going to go A. But they only have two people there now. Oh, it looks like SK might actually be falling back. The bomb is running down. Running in the C uh, BC, going towards Banana. We'll see if they're actually... Looks like they're only gonna fake B, fake B here. Mo is pushed up by Headbox. And Robin and Forrest will be taking over Banana now. Mo with a nice headshot under Robin. Forrest falls back and SK is gonna execute in the A here. Get right, walking out. Walking out a window. And Kings just actually clear has lane. a deagle on the site, so I mean they do have an A stack here, but if they can take, if the deagle can't get a kill, it could be a pretty even battle. And here's the execution. SK running into site. TV gets the first kill. Face gets one. Oh, deagle trades. Oh, that's not good for his money. And that is map point for Tyloo. And SK does not have much money at all. It's going to be very hard for them to win this round. Is this the point where uh, Get Right gets mad and just starts doing his own thing for the rest of the half? Um, probably not. I mean, we've I mean, seen it before where he loses big and he gets kind of annoyed and you'll see him just kind of do things that are kind of questionable. Yep, he has done that in the past. Kings with two nice AK headshots there in the middle. Opens up the round really quick. We'll see Forrest is actually going to go out of holes. No one is holding A right now, or the site rather. Goes out, but he gets taken out. And it looks like this might be map for Tyloo. Yeah, I mean, this is a big round by face and uh, get right here. Face, face just walks with his back turned, and that's going to be map one going to Tyloo, and that is a huge upset right now. I don't think anybody really expected Tyloo coming to this best of three line. to win. Yeah, especially with such a big score. Yeah, so next map is a nuke, you say? Do you know what the third map is? I didn't uh, check. Oh, it's Dust 2. It's actually uh, next, a really good next, map. Next map, is, next map is nuke, and then last map is Dust 2. That's actually like good maps for, well it's not the second map's not well, good for Tyloo, but the third map, Dust2, well, could... Well, Dust, um, Tyloo did look really, really sloppy against Izahara and Dust2 in their group stage match. Sorry, what did you just say? I said, um, Izahara played Tyloo and Dust2 in the first group stage, and they beat... Tyloo on it, and Tyloo looked really sloppy. It didn't look like they had any strats at all for the map. Hmm. Well, that's, that's a bit interesting. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if, if they look that sloppy versus them, then you gotta assume SK will roll them over, but at the same time, they've been looking really impressive. Well, it's, year, I, so. I think one thing is also that S well, SK played two matches that they win really, really e that they won really easily. Whereas Tyloo had closed games yesterday, and they're probably a little more warmed up to playing tournament CS. Whereas now SK is really gonna have to buckle up and give it their all. Yeah. They probably thought this match would be pretty easy. Like, maybe not easy, but you know, like... It wasn't gonna be the hardest match of the tournament, let's put it that way. All right, I'll guess. Um, I guess we're gonna go on a little break here as the maps change. Probably gonna be about five minutes or so. So um, check out winout.net. Got the uh, Winout Pro for under five bucks. Uh, five bucks a month. If you if you buy for a longer time, subscribe for a longer time than just a month at a time. It's gonna be even cheaper. A lot of uh, pro strat clips, highlights, videos, playbooks. Just a lot of things from every event that goes on in video form. Also, remember to subscribe to um, the Justin TV channel at winoutjustin.tv slash winoutnet. And we'll be back in about five minutes.